What's the wildest buggy story you can tell us? I've never, uh... Creek, Ohio. How did we get here? Well, there's actually a Ford store in this town, and this town population is only 1,200 people, that has a 2024 Dark Horse Mustang with a six-speed and the Recaro seat option. That is an incredibly rare car. It looks to be, by the numbers now, that Ford made about 3,000 of these cars, and there's more than 3,000 Ford dealerships, which most dealerships didn't even get one. I have no idea how they got one, but I called, I put a deposit on it. Let's go see if it's there. You're not going to believe this. James Dale Ford in Apple Creek, Ohio. This dealership has been in business for 95 years. We came all the way here to get a dark horse Mustang because you cannot get one in the DFW area. And actually there's none available in the US right now at all. And they happen to have one. How are you guys? Good, how are Good. you, sir? Good to be here. Yeah. Don't I always? Good to see you again. How are you? I don't know you, but are you Scott? I'm Pete. Pete. I'm the service manager. All right. I got him trying to fix his truck for it. Outstanding. The price on the Mustang is going to go up. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to do that, but we can try. <laughs> <laughs> is Scott inside? Yeah, yeah. Scott's inside. All right, inside. cool. Is the car in here? Yes. And it is. Really? So it was your fault. Yeah. Well, did you smoke the tires when you drove it? No, I wouldn't do anything like that. Oh, we're about to. There it is. It exists. It's crazy that it's here. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. Yeah. I had no idea how rare these things are. Incredibly rare. As a matter of fact, they they made less of these than there are Ford dealerships. So a lot of dealerships didn't even get one. It's insane. But what's cool about this car is they spec'd it with a six-speed. Really? Look. There are, the majority of these cars are automatics. They sure are. They also spec'd it with the Recaro seats, which is a great option. Uh, this is how I would have ordered it. Right. I was trying to buy it. Can you believe that's in there? Can you believe I was born and raised here? No. Excuse me. They're almost good. It's just good karma all around. So, oh, born and raised here. That's unbelievable. <laughs> so, according to. Well, well, I looked at this dealership here for 95 years. I was a fan of that. How are you, sir? You, Dennis. Yes, sir. I'm Scott James. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Welcome to Apple Creek. I can't believe it's here. <laughs> I'm thinking, man, I hope I didn't get scammed. No, no. It's a real deal. It's crazy. So tell us a little bit about the dealership before we get into that. Uh, family store. Granddad started in 1928. So we're wow. 95 years in with Ford. Wow. It was kind of neat because uh, when Ford hit their 100th anniversary, we hit our 75th with them. So we're 25 years behind Henry. Huh. So... Uh, Amazing. So when they hit a buck and a quarter, we'll hit a hundred. <laughs> so we're at 95 now. So how did you get the dark horse? I don't know. The stars lined up. They did, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know how many Ford dealerships there are, but there's more Ford dealerships than they made of those cars. Yeah, So yeah. most dealerships didn't even get one. Um, an allocation came available and I jumped all over it. And after that, they tried to substitute like a GT or something oh. lesser. And I said, wait, whoa, whoa, uh, 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 <laughs> you promised me that Dark Horse. I went to Dark Horse, please. So. Now, did you order that? I did. Because yeah. that's exactly how I would have ordered it. Well, you've got great taste. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't believe it when I was searching around because I have really good contacts with Chevrolet. I have very good contacts with Mopar. Uh -huh. I can yeah. almost get whatever I want. I just don't have a really good contact with Ford. 
I know some I guys see. from running stores in town. I called them. They just laughed at me. Yeah, like, you're yeah. never going to get one of those. I said, I will get one. Well, I spec'd it out the way that I would want one. <laughs> and that's exactly what I want. Let's check it out. Black on black with Ricaros. <laughs> yes, in a six-speed. Yeah, absolutely. Not an automatic. No, 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 that's not. So do you know the breakdown on production of these, the six-speeds versus the automatics? I don't. I don't. Because I, I can tell the majority of them are automatics. Autos. Yeah, that's what I've gathered so far, too. And it's a sports car. Yeah, I want to roll the gears for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to have automatic. Well, it's theft deterrent these days, isn't it? Ribbo brakes. Yeah, yeah, big six piston calipers and the uh, Recaro seats. Now, this is uh, naturally aspirated, no supercharger. No supercharger. I, it's know, 500 horsepower. If you put a supercharger on this, it would be insane. Well, that was my thought too. You know, it's it, pictures don't do these cars justice. No, they don't. Because I've, I've been, you know. Reading all about them all over the internet. I haven't seen one in person yet. The car really looks good. Yeah, it's a nice looking engine compartment. I called, and what I really liked when I called your store, yeah. like my store, we don't have an answer machine. It's Somebody human. actually answered the phone. It's, it's humans. <laughs> I'm like, man, this, this is a good start. It's a nice touch, yeah. And so I asked the lady on the phone, who was very, very sweet, I said, is the car there? She goes, it's in the showroom. Yeah, yeah. I was like, well, how many new cars are in the show? She goes, one. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> well, we're kind of old timey here. <laughs> how cool is that, guys? Oh, I love it. Isn't that neat? I love the dual throttle bodies and individual air filters. <laughs> but a Ripple car. charger would fit right underneath that, I think. That's what I hear. Yeah. It sure would. <laughs> I mean, obviously, these bottom end of these motors are just almost they're bulletproof. bulletproof. Yeah. yeah. But they're saying you push this to 850 without an issue. Even the original Coyotes, we had some engine builders that do Mustangs, and they said we've we've done a thousand horsepower successfully yeah. without any bottom enhancements. Yeah, you just they'll, they'll smack new heads on them and all that, but and the stuff that I've owned of late, anything that's more than seven hundred horsepower, you just can't use all that power anyways. It's almost just too much. How are you going to put it to the ground? You're not. You're never going to put it to the ground. Yeah. But I tell you what, these results for these cars on the track are amazing. Is that right? Yeah, they're tracking really, really. Sean, these things are tracking great, the way they've set them up. Well, I mean, look at the stance of it. It should. A stud. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm in, sir. You got All a right. deal. All right. Excellent. Well, super. I'm going to take this one home today. Well, we're going to do it. I left it in here so you can fire up and drive right out the showroom. <laughs> Outstanding. You got the paperwork ready? I do. I do. Look at that. Well, I got my folder. Do yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Get a couple this. things ready to rumble here. these cars are such a big deal they are awesome 500 horsepower and it feels like 700 get you some of that James Dale Ford and Apple Creek thanks Scott I'm happy with it it looks <laughs> good Sean it looks great man. <laughs> another great day to be alive yeah it's Monday sorry I don't know did your parking lot that's all right it's your black top anyways enjoy that yeah thanks it's all for selling that to me you bet I, pr I appreciate it man Hope I you am fun time that car is going to be used thing. as it's intended to be used i'm going to be watching the show to see when that thing lights up all right i've <laughs> okay. got one last question for you scott yes sir yes sir. best local place to eat best local place to eat uh city square steakhouse worcester ohio how far is that how about in town in apple creek 
Oh boy. Isn't there a Troyer restaurant? This is Donut Shop. No. Donut Shop. Oh uh, wow. Uh bup, 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 bup. Little, our little town doesn't have much, my friend. <laughs> well, I saw the golden bear. The golden bear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a, is that an Amish pastry shop? There's donut shop, But yeah. they don't have food? No. It's just, no, okay, just, yeah. Just, I don't yeah, need yeah. any donuts. Can, can I get a, a shot with you? Absolutely. Here? Sure. Yeah. Okay. What is that thing? Yeah, it looks All right, like Scott, what is your favorite thing here? Oh my God, I don't know. So it's this is a crispy Ohio pork belly. Huh, so it is like bacon. Looks like pork belly. I'm trying that first. It looks it's like it's probably totally though. healthy, right? <laughs> totally oh, that's healthy. Gotta be healthy. <laughs> Owen, are you brave? Always. Always. Okay. Well, you just ruined that one. No, I did not. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one properly. Are you trying to say I'm improper? No, I didn't say that. It's like bacon. Thank you. Ooh, it smells good. That's delicious. Is it? I hate to say it. <laughs> It's so bad, but so good. <laughs> Crispy Ohio pork belly. Mm. Oh. I'm telling you, it's so good, but so that bad. It tastes like it should be illegal. <laughs> That's fantastic. You in, Scott? Yeah, I'll take a chunk of that. <laughs> Hook me up on a fork here somewhere. The flavors are all over the place, but it's so good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Looks like the best part right there. Oh yeah. Let her rip. Thank you, Dad. Caramelized. Woo, baby. That looks awesome. Looks like we got bacon, onion, sweet potato, and a scallop. All in one bite. Think about that, Shopee. That actually with the bacon is amazing. Two best bites. What do we have there, ma'am? That is the rack of lamb, mashed potatoes. Wow. Uh, lollipops. I love it. The sun is killing me. Mashed Inside potatoes. Inside of lobster mac, I will be back oh, with the other ingredients. Wow. Well, I thought the uh, huh. appetizer was going to be the best bite. No way. Rack of lamb, lollipop. The only thing that could possibly make that better is mashed potatoes on top. That's it right there. Get it, Dennis. This is a great culinary day to be alive. Good recommendation, Scott. Thank hey, you. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Outstanding. All right, Zach, now you're up with the mac and cheese. All right, no pressure. You gotta give it a scale of one to 10. Okay. I know what your solid seven is. Zach is a Mac specialist. Mmm. It's got a little flavor kick in the end. 8.3. What? 8.3. That's really? strong. Mm -hmm. That's, That's strong. strong. That's pretty strong. good. The City Square Steakhouse. Scott, that was fantastic. Thank you, Dennis. Thanks for the recommendation. Thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thanks Thank for the you great for day. Coming and buying a Mustang. And for running a dealership for 95 years. You don't even look that old. I know. Kind of. <laughs> Where are we going now? How are you, sir? Pretty good. Thanks for having us. Dennis Collins. Dennis Emery. Emery. So, Owen tells us you have the original Dark Horse. The original Dark Horse. And so we're gonna we're gonna go for a ride in it. Actually, yeah. we came in town. We bought a Dark Horse Mustang. He goes, well, I know a guy's got a Dark Horse buggy with a Dark Horse. Yep. Let's go for a ride. Let's do it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Where are we gonna go? Uh, it's about quarter mile down the road, my brother's place. Okay. We got the buggy hitched up, and it's Sweet. only a two three seater. Okay. Well, can we ride on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> Or oh, the got, horse? It's got stops. <laughs> you want these inside or? All right. You got my flashlight. Zach's got my flashlight and it's working. Watch this. We got two flashlights. So essentially, like per like your your family, your brother's family, how many uh, buggies do you guys all have? Just one per family or? Yeah, just one per family. Dennis, it's like a Cadillac in there. Like it's plush. How yeah. cool is that? I, sh I should have gotten the crew. Beautiful horse. For denied. What's the biggest buggy you've ever seen? 
biggest one? Yeah. Uh, four, four seater. Four, just four seater. Yeah. I mean, it's a seat like this, and then it's, there's a, another door in the back with two more seats. Huh. I mean, we, as kids, we piled in the back. So. So if you wanted a four door buggy, it'd be like twenty grand. Like. No, those were about twelve grand. Twelve. I would say. Isn't that insane, Dennis? That's incredible. So this is three seats in the front and Zach in the back? <laughs> can, you, can you put somebody in the back? Behind the Zach in the back. I mean, it wouldn't be comfortable, but... <laughs> He's only 12, he'll be fine. <laughs> He's a little guy. There we go. In the front. I mean, the trunk. Oh, for Zach in the back. Yeah, we've got the seats here. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Told you. <laughs> You're right, it had a heater inside. Uh oh, we removed the heater? Yeah. That is so cool. All right, well, let's rock and roll. So, Emery, what is uh, the horse's name? I'm not even sure. That's a cool name. <laughs> That's long. <laughs> yeah, this is a low, deep cold. So from 500 horsepower to one, one horsepower. <laughs> this is awesome. Is that what that dark horse had? That, that is a dark horse for sure. You got to put a license plate on these or no? No. No? Indiana has license plates for their buggies, but this is insane. Stuff like this that makes me happy. Awesome. What are your thoughts, Sean? <laughs> I'm amazed and I'm excited at the same time. And I'm also crunched in here and we're cross-legged, so you tell me. <laughs> oh, look at lights. This is so cool. Thanks for doing this, Avery. Yeah. Okay. Did you uh, ever think I'd call you up and ask you for a buggy ride? No. No. <laughs> What's the wildest buggy story you can tell us? I've never. Uh... We used to drag race buggies a lot. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a two horsepower beef and one horsepower? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off the line for sure. sure. So it matters. Yeah, especially in takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> Go right and pull on this line. Yep, no, I got you. Yeehaw! Alright, there you go. Don't crash this old one. Oh, yeah. What's the horse? Oh, you don't know the horse's name? How fast are we going now? Uh, we are doing 13. I like that. 11. That was cool. That was amazing. Emery, thank you, sir. Yeah. That was awesome. Unbelievable. 16 miles an hour in the original Dark Horse. <laughs> Very cool. I didn't even know I needed that in my life, but I did. We needed that. That's there's right. A, there's a bucket list thing right there. We oh, didn't know. It wasn't even on the bucket list. It's done now. Two Thanks Dark Horses in on. one day. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. You ever have the opportunity to do Thanks that? I would highly recommend it. As always, please like, share, and follow. But most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.